What's going on everybody? It is your man Cleveland Terry and as I said earlier, if you watch my shows, I said, wait, there is a lot of new gear coming out, a lot of announcements that are going to be made shortly. This is the time of the year for new DJ releases. Kicking off that release is one of my favorite little companies and that is Jetpack Bags. Jetpack Bags, Jetpack Bags. They released this, or at least they made an announcement, Last Nam and you probably saw the video that I did about it. Everybody's been waiting. When is that thing gonna come out? How long is it gonna take? Well, I'm here to tell you, this is the month. It's gonna be coming out at the end of this month for sale. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't have prices. I'm sure that'll be announced when they announce it, but first look will be today. I got a lot of first looks coming out this week, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification because trust me when I tell you, I got a lot of gear that's gonna be coming out over the next couple of days, the next couple of weeks. So, this we have the Jetpack Bags Glide. Now, if you remember the drop system, the smaller bag with the ability to put in a snap, and I should get that snap. Let me get that snap, hold on. All right, so if you guys remember the drop system with the handy dandy pouch that allows you to put in your laptop bag, well, this is just like that one only bigger. So we still have the wonderful pouch design with the weighted foot here that allows it to sit flat and then just put in your snap bag, clip it in with the clip right here just to make sure it doesn't fall out and we are good to go. We can roll this thing, save a little space, save a little time by having a way to bring this bag. So that's the first step. If you already have this bag, well, then this is an easy upgrade for you because this is the first bag. There have been others soft bags out there, but this is the first bag that I've seen that I've actually wanted to use for my Rev 7. But not just my Rev 7. I could use it for my Rain 1. I could use it for my DDJ 1000. I can use it for gear that hasn't even been released yet. It is that multi-purpose. So let's take a look. Let me zip this back up so you can see some of the visuals of the bag. We have the standard setup here with the Jetpack name. I'm gonna answer your question right now because I know you have it. Can you put your logo on this bag? No, you cannot. It's only reserved for your actual backpacks, but once you put your bag in, it does show, makes it look nice, but this is just Jetpack. You can see on the sides here, we have a nice little stitching and it's not just for, uh, for looks. This is also kind of a double reinforced stitching. So it uh, makes it for a nice clean look. I like the kind of two-tone that it's got going on. Nice and refined. You have handles here. You have handles at the top. You have handles at the bottom. You have handles on both sides. So a lot of different options here. Now, uh, on the back side, you have your nice trolley roller case right here. This is all really durable. It's weighted in if you use the drop system, the other one. This is what this feels like. This one has feet, so when you lay it down, it's nice and clean, it's above everything, so you're not gonna get your bag dirty when you lay it down. And also, uh, the trolley, which you're not gonna be able to see the entire thing, but it's a nice, long trolley, good, nice and durable, doesn't move around a lot. It's just a really good piece of, uh, piece of tech here. Then, let's roll it down, and let's take a look at the inside. So you have these zippers. If you use any Jetpack bag, you know that these zippers are built to last, which comes all the way around. And then open it up. You have these signature Jetpack colors with the orange. You open it up and then you have this pad right here, which acts as a, another stop gap for protection. So it doesn't move around a lot. And then you can really protect the buttons and the jogs and everything else that's on here. All right, let's take this off. Nice, big, thick Velcro strap to keep it all nice and nice and tight. And then, you know, your standard A crate here. All right, then we have the controller. Now, as you can see here, we still have some room, okay? And I've put this in and I've 
I will show you in a minute, but I put this in and there are several different types of configurations you can do. When I open up the bottom, you'll see what I'm talking about. But you have plenty of space. You have space for a longer controller. You have space for a wider controller. So that means things like the Rain 4 should fit in this bag. And there might be some other announcements coming up in the next month or so, uh, which I've already seen. Whatever controller is coming out, it will also fit in this bag. So if you buy this bag, at the end of February, I think uh, you're going to be pretty safe as far as gear is concerned. No, it won't fit like a Prime 4 or anything like that. This is more for your, your standard traditional controllers, but there's plenty of space. And the Rev7 is a, is a larger controller. So in reality, I'm more concerned with the depth because it's a long controller, but the depth of it, having this much space is going to give you a lot of flexibility there. All right, let's, open, let's take this off. All right, now, you have here your standard padding, and this one is a flat one. Now, it's flat because my controller has no feet. But if you wanted to have feet, all you have to do is flip it over, and you can see here this little drop-off is for any gear with feet. So, for instance, like if you have a Rain 4, you're still going to be able to use this because it's got this extra drop-off for the feet. The Rain 1 here, you notice the feet. We drop it down and we are good again. Same thing, put in the strap, close it shut. Done. Now, let's take a look. This thing, really solid, durable, hard. There's no flex to it at all, except for the sides, because you want your feet to be able to, to give a little bit but no flex on this, but it's not like it's a brick. It's just really, really hard. Okay, then underneath that, you have another section. And this is what I was talking about with the added padding, because I have, I'm only using these pads, but they, it comes with, basically this whole thing is filled with pads. So depending on the size of your controller, you can shape it and shift it the way you need to, to make it work for you. See, in my case, I have things in here that I know I always use, but sometimes I don't need them at a certain event. Like if I were to say I needed a laptop stand, well, my table that I normally bring comes with a laptop stand, but every so often, maybe I'm not using that table. Maybe I get there and there's already something there and now I need to have a stand. I can keep my stand right in here and I don't have to think about it. It's just in there when I need it. Also, you're gonna want a place for your cord, especially the Rev7 because it's not a traditional cord. So you're gonna want a place for that. And then I have, uh, because I do use multiple products, I use the rain products, I use this, I have this quarter inch to XLR for my booth monitor because some have XLR only, some have quarter inch. If I'm out traveling, it's a good little thing to have. Just giving you an example. If you're thinking about being sneaky and maybe you needed a backup controller or something, well, you could, in theory, do something like this, lock it into place, and then put the uh, backpack on with no feet. We're, we're trying out all configurations right now. Okay, so this one might be a little too high. Huh, okay. All right, so I'm pretty sure that goes against the uh, recommended tolerance <laughs> for this bag, but you see what I did here? Now I have a backup in here that I never have to touch, but it just sits in the bag. I love this bag. It's exactly the kind of bag I wanted. I did not want a, just, I just didn't want another hard case because of, again, because of the space required, because of the weight required. And if you're using a hard case, typically you're not taking it out of that case. So the benefits are if you're using a hard case, all the wiring and everything is already in, you don't have to think about anything, but that is an added weight that you have to deal with all the time. Once I roll this in to the event I'm doing, I just take it out and set it right on the table. So I'm not dealing with all that super heavy weight. I'm a big fan of this bag. If you are interested in it, 
please go to the website. Link will be in my description. I don't have the price. I'm sorry. These things are, this is a popular thing right now to, to show products without prices. So I don't know about that, but I'm sure it's Jetpack. So it's going to be definitely uh, priced appropriately to the bag. I know those guys, they don't gouge people, but they definitely want to be able to, you know, handle manufacturing plus make a profit on it. So uh, please take a look at that website and uh, let me know. Let me know what you think when you get a chance. Uh, let me know if you're interested in this bag. And if you have any questions about it, please, uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to answer it. If not, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button if you found this video useful and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.